Ever get worried about stumbling over a medical term in front of a patient or a colleague? Thanks to its foundations in Greek and Latin, medicine is full of terms that are hard to pronounce. Here's a quick guide to a few tricky words and some tips on what to do if you get stuck. Hat tip to friends and family in the medical profession, our nurse writing staff, and the professionals on the R Medicine Reddit thread for the following terms. These are just three of the tongue twisting terms you might use on the job. First, sphygmo manometer, otherwise known as a blood pressure cuff. Pro tip, in a pinch, just say, hand me the BP cuff. Next, telangiectasia. This refers to a chronic dilation of capillaries and small arterial branches that can be an indication of disease. Pro tip, unless you're a true arachnophobe, it might be easier to gently ask your patient about their spider veins instead. Finally, glomerulus is the filtering unit of the kidney. Pro tip, it helps to really focus on that accented second syllable. Most medical professionals say tinnitus, the second eye is short, but the way lots of civilians say tinnitus with the long eye may actually be correct based on the original Latin, so just enjoy your next argument over pronunciation. As for the second term, it's correctly pronounced angina, short eye, not angina, rhyming with, well, you know. This is not a hard term to pronounce, but it's so commonly misused that even Sir William Osler, one of the true giants of American medicine, used to pronounce it differently depending on if he was talking with colleagues or patients. You might not have to deal with this one if you don't work in neurology or psychology, but if you do, don't mess up the pronunciation of the word formication, which is the sensation of bugs crawling on the body. If you mistake the M for an N in that first syllable, you'll have a lot of explaining to do. Get more practical tips you can use every day when you subscribe to IntelliCare.